After 15 years we got now a new regulation and with the certification regulation there's a chance to create a new ecosystem and to have secure products for our daily life. I believe that Enisa must be proud of adding value to national developments, bringing member states together, spreading solutions, putting and sharing state-of-the-art expertise. In the next 15 years, I believe that Enisa will need to continue to act as a cornerstone of cybersecurity in Europe in face of growing cyber threats, but as well new challenges arising from digital transformation. Under the leadership of the current executive director, dear Udo, Enisa has proved its value. And how ENISA will make use of its enlarged role in the future will be decisive for promoting European Union-wide cybersecurity operational cooperation. We have to make products more secure. And to make products more secure, we have to bring security to the awareness of the end user. The next thing I think we have to do is we have to act on a lot of new technologies and we have to figure out what it means for security. We in Parliament passed the European Cyber Security Act. We ask you uh, to come forward with European Cyber Security Certification Schemes for a lot of uh, products, services, uh, systems, etc. And NISA managed to gather top officials who work for the whole of the European Union in the production of studies, in the production of what has become a point of reference, the Threat Landscape Report. ENISA is responsible for the only pan-European exercise in cybersecurity, the so-called Cyber Europe. This is its own creation, its own success. The Cybersecurity Act not only makes ENISA a permanent agency of the European Union, but it also gives it two very new opportunities for it to become a point of reference. The first is the support of ENISA. The European Certification Scheme will give the opportunity to ENISA to become the hub for the certification world in Europe in the coming years. My expectations are that ENISA gradually develops more technical expertise so that the assistance, especially on those member states who need this expertise and cannot build up because of their size or their uh, possibilities on their own, that ENISA can help them in order to uh, have a seamless level of security throughout Europe. I would like to mention the awareness raising uh, campaigns that ENISA has been leading since many years and it has stepped up these efforts recently. I believe that we must have much stronger ENISA in the next uh, coming 15 years with own technical and operational capabilities and I hope that the current Cybersecurity Act is empowering ENISA but we must not stop here. I look forward to the next 15 years of our old and new European Union Agency for Cybersecurity. Happy birthday ENISA! ENISA also takes a chance to thank all our stakeholders for supporting us for the last 15 years.